five assists. It had to be a heck of a last seven minutes for him. He got 16 points in both seven minutes. Jesse Cravens on the low post and off the glass with his first two. Dave, exactly what we had discussed is happening for Rice. The first thing they want to do is put it down low to Manny or to Cravens. And if you don't guard them down there, that's what they'll do. They'll operate low. You need to make them force the ball. You're going to force it out to the perimeter. To be reopened around the country. Yes, it is. That's Alan Bracey for the Ponies, his first. Archie Myers feeding Jesse Craven. Uh, from San Antonio. That's precisely what they want, Dave, and that's what they're getting. Um, putting the ball inside, making the move right now. Matthews with a minute to nine seconds remaining in the first half. One and oh. Both sides in conference play so far. Craven starting to heat up. He, McGee, and Pete all with six to the out. He showed a little versatility there. He went outside, faced up to the basket, hit about a 16, 17 foot jumper. That time, came over the back and earns his second foul. As improved as maybe anybody in the league, he averaged less than two points per game. He has improved by almost 13 points per game in the soccer. Rice starts in that double low stack, two on either side of the lane. And you wonder if Manny will just toss one up there just to make them respect that shot. Instead, it's Jesse Craven now eight points. Cravens likes to step off of the block out at about 10 or 12 feet, and he'll shoot that jump shot. It might be out to 15 feet. Oh, he's probably one of those guys that live on a golf course after he gets his degree and play golf the rest of his life, huh? Well, I guess they play golf at Oxford. He ends up there. <laughs> See, Cravens will shoot that shot. That time he was well beyond the 15 foot. Look at no one back for SMU. 